Beth, and welcome to LifestyleAccelerator.com. Today we're going to talk about accessible homes. Whether you're building a house or remodeling, it can be confusing trying to figure out what, um, what you really need to do to make your house truly accessible. When we built our home, we went and looked at some other people's houses, and I thought that was very helpful in the process. So I'd like to show you a few things about our house. Um, that you might be able to use when remodeling or building your own. We're going to start in the kitchen. The first thing is the oven. The oven is supposed to be raised to a height that uh, someone seated in a wheelchair could easily open the door and have the door be at lap height. They need to be able to, um, to take the food out of the oven and transfer it to a surface that's nearby. So the oven needs to be near a counter and not in the middle of a wall somewhere by itself. One thing I didn't realize when we were building our house was that dishwashers, to be accessible, have to be raised. This is so the person in the wheelchair doesn't have to lean down too far to get into the, um, into the dishwasher. So our dishwasher is raised slightly. And if you'll notice, all of our counters have a higher kick plate than than average. This is so people in wheelchairs can roll closer to the counter without having their wheels hit against the edge and they can actually get up close to the counter. We chose to make all of our counters slightly lower um, than, than standard counters, but we actually added an extra low counter as well. This is good for um, mixing in um, cooking, because even though our counters are lower than standard height, it's still kind of hard if you're seated to, to be reaching up and trying to prepare things in a bowl that's, that's up here. So we thought that adding a, a shorter counter would be helpful. We have a magnetic induction stove top. It's roll under. Our sink is roll under as well. We chose a magnetic induction stove top because it's supposed to be safer for people who are using wheelchairs um, and who may have to reach over burners because the, um, the surface of the stove never actually heats up. It heats up the actual pot and pan through magnets. Um, so if somebody's reaching over the stove top, then they won't be burned because the stove top surface never heats up itself. It only heats up the, um, the pot or pan that you're using. Our entryway is level, and it just goes straight out to um, a, a concrete driveway. This way, um, people can just roll in and out of the front door without having to go up any steps or having to bump over um, anything that's graded. We don't have a ramp or anything. It's all completely flat. This is a ranch-style home, so we have no stairs. We have no stairs in the front of the house, and we have no stairs in the garage. They're all both um, level entryways. All of the bathrooms in our home are accessible to a certain degree. They all have sinks that you can roll under, and they have um, toilets that are raised. But this bathroom is specifically uh, made for our wheelchair user, so the sink has, um, it's not just roll up to, it's, it's definitely roll under all the way. We don't have any cabinetry underneath so the wheelchair can get as close to the sink as possible. We have, um, if you've seen the kind of the video, this is where we keep our body chair, shower chair, hang the, the enema bag from the top to the shower when we do our program. And we have a roll in shower. The rolling shower has a, a slight gray here, but um, it's made so that you can just roll right into the shower. And we have an adjustable shower head. It's up right now for um, adult use, but you can lower it all the way down here if you want. And, or you can take it off the handle and use it that way as well. But an adjustable height shower um, is pretty important to have. 
We also were told that we should reinforce the wall next to our toilet so that when we install grab bars, uh, we won't have any problems with our wall falling apart. We did do that. We don't have any grab bars yet because we haven't really needed them. But we made sure to put some extra wood, two by fours, whatever, <laughs> in the walls um, so that they would be good and stable when we need that in the future. Our washer and dryer are front loading so that um, they are easily accessible by um, somebody who's sitting in a wheelchair. I was told to make sure that when they install the washer and dryer that they're facing the right direction because the doors open out. We want them to open out this direction. Um, somebody had put theirs in their home next to each other the opposite way and the doors actually opened against each other and the person had to go around the doors to get to the other machine. So, front load washer and dryer. Make sure they open out so you can easily transfer clothes. We also have a folding table close by so that the clothes can be transferred from the dryer to a folding table and then they can be um, folded right here instead of having to be transported somewhere else to be folded, um, which is more difficult. All of our floors are laminate or tile. We don't have any carpet in the house and um, not really any rugs either. Just a couple, I think. So, um, it's really easy to get around in a chair. And um, actually, my daughter really enjoys being able to speed around the house and not have any bumps and carpet to navigate over. So, I hope that this helped you if you're thinking about remodeling or building an accessible home. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always email us.